Okay, um, today's question is going to be from Physics 2017 Paper 1, Question 14. Now, it says 5 kg of pure ice at minus 5 degrees Celsius is melted at 0 degrees Celsius by a heater. What is the amount of heat required to melt the 5 kg of pure ice? Now, to melt 5 kg of pure ice to water, the first thing you need to understand is it had to move from ice at minus 5 degrees Celsius. So, let me illustrate that. It moved from ice minus 5 degrees Celsius of ice, it will first of all migrate to 0 degree Celsius of ice, then it will now migrate to 0 degree Celsius of water. And here, what happens here is MC theta, where the C, this is, the C is the specific heat capacity of ice, why what happens here, because there is no change in temperature, it's ML, where L is the latent heat fusion of ice. So all we need to do is apply our formula MC theta plus ML, where our M is 5 times our specific capacity of ice is 2100 times our temperature change. It's from 0 to 5, so it's going to be 5 plus this is going to be 5 times L, which is 336. Zero, zero, zero. So we are going to multiply this with our calculator. So that will give us um, 5 times 2100 times 5. So this is giving us um, 52500. Zero, zero. 52500 zero, zero plus. Then when we multiply 5 by Three three six triple zero. We're going to get one six eight zero zero zero. That's one six eight zero 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 zero. So when we sum this up, when we sum this up, it's going to give us plus five two five zero zero. So our final answer is going to be um, one seven. Three two, sorry, one seven three two five hundred. Okay, five hundred. Now changing this to index form. Move one two three four five six. So that's one point seven three times ten raised to the power six joules. So that is the final answer. So let me do a recap of this question again. Now the first thing you need to do is. You need to convert the minus 5 degree ice down to 0 degree ice first, that's MC theta. Then from 0 degree ice, you need to move it to water at 0 degree Celsius. Remember that whenever you're moving from one state to another and there is no change in temperature, it is called latent heat. It could be latent heat of ice, it could be latent heat of vaporization. But in this case, we're dealing with latent heat of ice. So all you need to do is sum up the two heats. The heat from changing it from minus 5 degrees Celsius to 0 and from 0 degrees Celsius of ice to water. So when you sum it up and put in all your values, you get this. Now, if you think this question makes sense, please click subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. If you have any question you want to ask us concerning what we just do, did, um, you can drop your questions on the comment sections. Thank you very much and stay tuned for more.